Hello everybody, it's Andy here from Air Media Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, rolling dust, uh, which works great for things like desert maps, um, even like abandoned apocalyptic roads. As you can see here, uh, the wind is blowing the dust across this desert path through this canyon. Um, and it's an easy tutorial. It's really, really quick and simple. So I'm going to show you how to create that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go into our content browser we're going to find a folder where we want to store our niagara particle effect um and this is the one that you can currently see now so i'm going to create a new one we're going to go to right click niagara system <coughs> i'm currently running in uh, the newest version of unreal so that's why it looks uh, different on here if you're on a different version it might appear differently for you so we're going to go to new system from selected emitters click next and then we're going to go down until we see uh, hanging particles this one we're going to click plus and then we should have it now emitters to add we've got handing particulates and then we're going to click finish now this is going to create the system and then we can go in and edit it to fine tune it to how we want so it can look similar or as close to what I've made, um, as you can see, scrolling across the screen. Um, so we're going to name this. I'm going to call this one uh, Desert Tutorial Dust V2. And in here, we're going to open that up. And you should be greeted with a screen like this. You've got these little tiny floating particulates in the air. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the wind force. And we're also going to change the sprite render. So in here, we want to search for, if you've got the starter content on, you should have a smoke UV, uh, like a smoke UV material. So up here in our search bar, we're going to type in smoke. And you'll be greeted with this one here. Not this one, because this is one I created, but this one here. So M underscore smoke underscore sub UV. So we're going to select that. Now you can see here the par particles have changed and now these little tiny squares because they're actually rendered as this square here. Now the grid is eight by eight. So we need to change the UV size to eight by eight. So we're gonna click on sub UV and then you can see here sub image size is currently is one to one scale. So we're gonna change that to eight eight. And then you can see here now that these are tiny little clouds they're no longer those little tiny squares which is perfect that's exactly what we want so we're going to go to spawn rate i'm going to set this to 20. we're going to go to shape location i'm going to change it to plane and we're going to set this to 2000 by 2000 then we're going to go to um do, 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 do wind force and we want it to go up the map so let me get rid of my original emitters here. And the good thing about this is that they are all um, sprites. So they're really, really, really easy to render for the GPU. So we're going to delete them and we're going to add in the one that we just created. And obviously they're very, very small. So we need to edit that. So let's go back into our particle. <clears throat> in here, we're going to look for our sprite uh, material and we're going to go and search that so let's click search and it will show us this image here this this sub uv that we're using but we want to create a duplicate because we want to alter the color but we don't want to alter the original in case we want to use it for something else so we're going to right click create duplicate and this is going to be our desert um let's call it dust uh uv color and we're gonna open that up. And in here we need to make a small change just so we can edit the color of the dust because it wouldn't make sense to have white dust in a desert scene because it would be the color of the, kind of like the surrounding sand and the rocks. So in here we're gonna add a multiply. I'm just gonna hold M, left click. The multiply that's already connected to base color is gonna go into B the output for the multiply is going to go into base color. So you should have something that looks like this. We're then going to hold free 
on the keyboard and left click to get a free constant. This will give us the ability to change the color. So we're going to click here. And then what we can do is if we bring this window out and we click on the scene, we can then, let's do this. So we can, we can do this, we can double click here or click, and then we can use the eyedropper tool to get a scene match color for our, let's have a look. Let's do something like this one. And let's make it a little bit on the brighter side. Like so, and then click OK. So now we have a color match to these rocks. So we've got this rock, dust, and sand blown around. And then we can place this back in our um, tab bar. And we can now link this up. So we're going to uh, drag out of the top here and place that in A. And you can see now the dust is representing the color that we've selected. So we're going to click apply and save. And then we're going to go back into our level. And we just need to create the correct size and the scale. So we're going to go back into our par uh, particle system. And we're going to go on initial. And then down on the right side here, we should have sprite size mo um, mode. And it's got random uniform. So random uniform means that it they're always going to be a random between these values. But they can only be a 2 or a 3.5. <clears throat> so we're going to go way way up now so we're going to go maybe 200 and 400 and then we also if you can notice here that's all white smoke so what we need to do is go back to our sprite renderer and we need to apply the duplicated uv color that we made which would be this one and then we select it and then left click and now it's the smoke color of the scene that we're in, the, the sand. So you can see here that it's it's looking way better now and it kind of matches with the surrounding environment. But we want this to move down the road, down this path in this direction. So if we have a look here, we can see that we have our axis points. You've got the Z, you've got the X, and you've got the Y. So y plus would be the way the arrow is facing y minus would be the way the arrow isn't facing so the opposite to plus would be minus and this would be the minus direction so we're going to make this one and then we're going to move this over so we're going to duplicate that with alt and drag so we now have two of them and what we can do <clears throat> is we can go into our particle system we can go to wind force and we can see that we have a wind speed of one and this I believe is on the X. So we're gonna cl click zero and then we're gonna click minus and then we're gonna do, let's say a value of 60. You can see here that the, the, the smoke is moving but we have a curl noise force. So we can drop that down to 0.5. There we go and now the smoke is moving. I'm going to save that, go back into our level, and here we have this greater looking effect. It kind of makes your scene pop a little bit more, it makes it look a little bit more kind of eerie and more post-apocalyptic kind of thing. But yeah, I hope this video helps. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll be doing more of these little level design tutorials. I've had a lot of questions about uh, just making little effects like this. So if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it for any reason, I'm not sure why, then go ahead and dislike the video. It's, it's all up to you. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It helps support the channel, which helps me support you guys with more tutorials. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now.